team's chief race engineer, Andrew Shovlin, is going to help me review the German Grand Prix now using the pure pit wall. Shove, a key point of the race was Nico losing the lead off the start. But interestingly, he's in fourth here on the big wheel, but podium prediction saying he'd finish second. Now, what did you have to do to ensure that would happen? Well, we had a couple of uh, opportunities, really. The, um, I mean, the key thing going into this race was we didn't know what the strategy was going to be. I don't think anyone really knew what they were going to do, whether it was a two-stop or a three-stop, and how many stints you were going to do on the super soft or the soft tyre. But with every stop, you've got the opportunity for the undercut. So we had two cars to get through. We could try and do the, one of those on each of the stops that were coming up. The other opportunity, if that doesn't work, is you can try and offset yourself on tyre life. So we didn't think... Uh, on the same tyre would be quick enough to pass the Red Bull, but if we could get ourselves on fresher tyres or on a quicker, quicker rubber, we could then attack them on track. By lap 15 of the race, we can see most people have made their pit stops, Lewis going on to the soft and Nico going on to the super soft, so you would showed your hand there at that point. Yeah, we were going to use that super soft to undercut the Red Bull. Uh, Verstappen came in on the same lap, he came in just ahead of us, um, but unfortunately Nico had a slow stop, so with Verstappen pitting on the same lap, we couldn't attack him. The opportunity was against Ricciardo, he was the car behind, um, but the problem was that we'd, had, we'd lost this second in the pit stop and that was enough for them to cover it. They came in the next lap with Ricciardo, they were quite safe, they took the soft tyre and they were keeping those positions. It was slightly different for Lewis. Well, Lewis was uh, you know, in control of the day really. We, we went to the soft tyre when we'd seen what Red Bull were doing behind us, we knew what people were on. Uh, they had one car on the super soft, one car on the soft. Lewis could keep track position, he didn't need to be blisteringly quick out of the pit stop. So that soft tyre was good to get it, you know, get it out of the way early and allow us the faster rubber at the end of the race. Um, but really he was just controlling the gaps and managing, managing the tyres. On the pure pit wall now we can see the second stops around lap 28. Nico going on to the soft tyre, what did this kind of do to Nico's race? Well we were having another go at the undercut here. So we went to the soft tyres, we were thinking about doing longer stints on it, being able to put Red Bull under a, a bit of pressure. Um, and it was good, Ricciardo stayed out and covered it, but when he made his stop we gained that position. We couldn't quite get Verstappen and you saw Nico coming out, he'd had a lap to bring his tyres up to temperature. Verstappen was out on cold rubber and Nico was able to attack him going into the hairpin and that was where the stewards decided to give him a penalty. It's now lap 45 of the Grand Prix. We're about to have the time penalty stop with Nico, which did not help his last part of the race. No, that made it very difficult. So we had track position, but we were going to have to spend an extra five seconds in the pit stop than the Red Bull. So there's no way that you can get an undercut to work in that situation. The only thing we could do was to use the fact that we still had a soft tyre with Nico to push them very long. They wouldn't have wanted to take uh, that super soft over 20 laps at the end of the race. They would have to react to us when we came in because we'd be going quicker on track, um, which was why they brought both in. And we were hoping at that stage that our degradation would be better than theirs and Nico's opportunities would come in the last stint. But unfortunately, the gap was too much. If he pushed to try and close down that gap, he was hurting the tyres and we couldn't really make any inroads. An interesting day on your pit wall and the pure pit wall. Thanks, Shav. Thank you.